It's a beautiful life. I And I 
like to hang out with my hand. Thank you. Thank you. Zyra, come here. Hello everyone, my name is Zyra. Um, I love playing volleyball. Uh, I like writing songs, writing stories, writing poems as well. Uh, I'm from Montana, Philippines. I just came here two years ago. 
Also, I'm the international student. I just graduated last year, and I'm focusing on wines, really. I want to be a summer one day. My wife and my favorite is Chardonnay. On the left, it's going to be the Chardonnay Saint Blanc. On the right, I like to say too. The little bit of the red is cool. Maybe if you want to do a steakhouse also, a vintage shop house. Maybe you can be there, I can see you do some research there. We have a Wagyu also there, you can try the Wagyu as well. A bit expensive, but it's probably that cheap, it's really good. Hello everyone, my name is Ace Nisperos, and my hobbies are playing the guitar. I've been learning I've been playing the guitar for about five to six years and I've, as I've been learning the guitar, I've also learned to be passionate about singing. So I also sing and although I can't say that I'm exceptional at it, I, I'm also passionate about singing. And the same as Paolo Bonifacio, I'm also, I also work at a, a restaurant and I work as a line cook. As you can see, I have uh, <laughs> scars from cooking. <laughs> but yeah, I also used to do competitive swimming, I also played volleyball, and I used to do rugby as well. So, it is my first time do doing a pageant, so I hope that you guys can teach me something. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, my name is Joaquin Sanchez. I'm 17 years old, and this is my first time doing a pageant as well. And some of the things I'm interested in are like cars, basketball, and just hanging out with friends. Good afternoon. My name is Marcelo Paul uh, I'm 17 years old, and just like anyone else, and other people, uh, it's my first time joining the pageant. I've been in a lot of I've been in a lot of uh, talent shows, but it doesn't really develop my character. Uh, I'm hoping this pageant really develops myself since I've been really quiet my whole entire life. That's it. Thank you. Okay, so candidates, thank you for now. This is an exercise. Now, how do you feel? How do you feel? You now feel confident of speaking, right? So this is the you have to ease out. Right? You, you, because the inner part of your personality will be the speaking part. So this exercise that I have given you is for you to be confident, okay? So now that you experience how to speak in front of a, a little people, so I want you to, to develop the talent na marami naman, okay? So look at them, they're just telling me many things about them blisters or whatever. Now this is one thing I'm uh, trying to uh, ease up yourself and then eventually you will be friends along the way. Okay? Now this is a friendly competition. I know there's a winner and whatever, but the bottom line is we need to provide a good show. Right? Now, speaking of the good show, I want you to promote the budget. Okay? Online, um, the tickets are available online. Right? So, first come, first serve. Because the, the venue does not allow us to sell directly. It has to be there. That is a So, secondly, we have the pasarela tickets now. Uh, very limited. Uh, $100 for the front row. It's only $35. Bucks. Um, you've been to the Divonia, right? So, I love you that. So, your general admission is only $25. Um, to be honest with you, hindi ko minamahala ng ticket, basta lang mabayaran natin yung venue. Okay? For me, this is not business. For me, magkapagbigay lang ako sa inyo ng uh, platform and entertainment, I'm happy like that. Di ba? Kasi nga, may nag-comment kasi, kung ang mga naman ang VIP mo, I was able to check in one of the events, hindi mo mapakalala, doble ang presyo ng kanilang VIP. And to think na ang venue naman, hindi naman ganun ka-grandioso. So, I think, sabi ko, okay lang naman pala tayo, di ba? So, 75 bucks. Kasi, out of 75 dollars, whatever ticket that you will be paying, we will pay them, may mga deduction pa yun. Right? 
So I'm not saying this to, uh, I'm just say, uh, sharing this. It's my responsibility to my own. Whatever happens, uh, ipapangutan ko para mapaganda ang show, di ba? So ngayon, ang gagawin natin, Credence will do the rundown, so sa so, mga karating pa lang. Production number, uh, exit kayo, advocacy. Next will be the festival wear. Everybody has festival wear now, we're still in progress. Raise your hand kung meron na. Festival wear. And, wala pa? Higher, higher. So one, so Joaquin has. Wala sa Esra, meron ka na? Wala pa. Okay, so, yeah, we have to work. Festival wear. Now, any question about festival wear? Do you have an idea what a festival wear is? Because there are two things in Philippines. Filipiniana is a dress. Festival is you can showcase the festival costumes of the different regions and provinces from the Philippines. Example, Cebu, uh, mga festival. So, we had something like that, okay? Um, so after the festival wear, with the swimwear, we will provide you with the swimwear and the evening gown in the form of wear. Okay, so everybody have gowns already? Raise your hand. Malapa? John, you have? How about you? Malapa? Wala na si Mami. That's me. Okay. So yun. Now, as a evening gown, okay, it's how you carry the dress and for the guys, how you project. That's it, right? Now, this year will be something different. We will now do away with the Q&A. I mentioned that before, right? Alam niyo yan, ha? Ang gagawin natin ngayon, ano yan? Who remember? Hasta. So, the procedure is when you will be going on stage, example, ask me. So, you put a an envelope, and then the host will read the hashtag. Hashtag Ashley, uh, ano ba? Hashtag, uh, for example, outfit of the day. So you have to outfit say of the day. So now, now remember in this part, there are no right or wrong answers. It's how you, do, you, you, you wanna, how you explain. Okay? Katulad nung, I watched the budget yung mga grandma, ang kanyang question is like, describe your gown. Right? So, kung tutusin, pang pang, Pero napaganda niya. What she did is she did some symbolism. Example lang ito. Just give it. She did some symbolism. Kasi yung kanyang gown, medyo mga flowering. Yung daw kanyang mga grandchildren. Tapos ito daw yung ano niya, yung, yung cake niya daw. Yung daw pakpak. Something like that. So you have to be creative. Okay? You have to be creative. And kailangan lang confidence again. Kaya nga, I did this exercise. Para next time around, kaya yun na magsalita. Everybody speak to the Tagalog or English only? Some English only. Yeah. English only? Oh my God, I need an interpreter. Some English only. Okay, pala naman ang parents. Nasaan mo yung parents dito? Nasaan? Parents! Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Mga parents. Ayan, mga parents. Ayan. 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 From the bottom of my heart, gusto ko magpasalamat sa inyo. Right? Because kung hindi kayo wala sila dito. Right? Children. So, palapakan natin ang parents. Okay? So, yun.
with me on the uh, you're believing in me in whatever I do and uh, my platform is to uh, discover young talents, uh, develop their personality and boost their confidence. And uh, I've been doing the pageants for, well, 2014. Uh, we started with a little hunting trivia muna lang. Kasi hindi pa handaan food. Gugutumin ko muna kayo. Yeah, just to give you an idea, like a lot of you maybe don't know me yet. Yeah, I've been into events and production since 2006. Our first venture together with the Barrio Fiesta people, Lydia and Vilma, was the AGs Live in Calgary. So we did the first AGs, and after that, I was plunged into uh, events and production. So uh, all the while, uh, we've been assisting, and together with me, I'd like to acknowledge also Ms. Evelyn Lopez, we have a team who became the technical director whenever we have events. So yeah, and moving forward, we've done concerts and shows, and then I also was involved in pageantry. Uh, my first foray into the pageantry was the Mr. and Miss Pinoy Times with Miss uh, Connie Kriaski. So that for two years, 2014, and then uh, in 2016, uh, we uh, decided to, with our, my group before, the Filipinas Canada pageant. So we've done 2016, 2017, and we had also the Miss Queen Filipinas Canada. And I would like to acknowledge Tatiana, she's one of our candidates. Yan po, yung magandang Tatiana. Right, Tatiana? It's uh, Miss Queen Filipinas Canada in 2018. And then, so, but before the pandemic happened, we started with the pageantry uh, organization. So we stopped it, and I thought that's it. Then she time, So, anyways, in 2021, so the, we still have a group chat active. So some of them saying, let's do the pageant theater. So we did the 2021, and that was again. Uh, revitalized, <laughs> right, Miss Abby? And that's also I meet most of you in the pageantry. Then, uh, after that successful, I believe, if you believe that that's, that was successful, um, we again plan for this year's 2022. Actually, Bo, I was a little bit nostalgic because um, things happen, a lot of you know uh, incidents and situations in my life and everything. I was planning not to push through with this. And then a lot of people, and then my team right now, and I'd like to, I'd like to acknowledge also my new team, well, part of the whole team, and I'm gonna call them here with me. I'll start with my kind of like executive assistant now, Miss Credence Galario. We started the 2022 pageant uh, recruitment. Sabi ko sa kanila, na sabi nila yung po yung kuroy natin. Also, Sick Fred. Halika Sick Fred. Sick Fred is it. He's my friend for more than 10 years. And parating po yan natin sa akin. Kahit uh, binabangbo ko yan, paminsan-minsan. Ganun naman talaga, di ba? Uh, sometimes, sabi, sabi niya na, the truth will set you free. <laughs> So production, as a finals, I want you to be amazed with our fine production number. Right? And it's because of the team effort. Sino ba? Si Evelyn, tinawag ko yun? Ha? Si Evelyn, ito Evelyn. Si Boa, ay! Ito, hindi ko ito pwede kalimutan. Louis Atienza, lagi din po. Louis Atienza approached me to help me in this project. If you want to do that, 
And uh, she is one of the main reasons why a lot of you are here. Kumbaga siya ang aking money-making machine. Right, talaga po, 2 a.m. nagme-message siya. And then, just to let you know that we have five more sponsors who recently supported us because of this. Thank you very much. So, what I'm trying to say is, I am not here alone. I have people working with us, not for me, with us. Because it's different. It's not for me, but we're not a dictator. We're not a supporter. Now that we work together as a team, Acknowledge ko na rin si Lisi. Please sali ka dito, Lisi. Lisa. Lisa. Oh, nandiyan si Tata. Ano ka, Tata? Ayan, Tata. Dito ka. Si Tata po ay si Soso Helping Me. Yung mga sponsors and then guide kami. Sending me a message. So, ako kasi, I want inclusivity. Ha? Yung gusto sa akin, I like 10 times more. Pag ayaw ako, wala akong gagawa niya. Diba? Pero lang naman yan eh. Ganun lang naman yan. So anyways, I think I have the team here. Si Lerma. Nasa si Lerma? Lerma o Lerma? Inaayos. Meron ko kasi, alam nyo kasi sa mga ano, Lerma o Lerma, all seasons decor. Thank you very much. Alam nyo kasi sa mga live, yung mga glitches, and ito sila mga ganito ang gawin natin. So, that is what I'm looking for a team member. I want somebody with ini. Ano yung ini? Initiative. Ayaw ko ng tao. Pako. Bakit pako? Ayaw ko pupukin pa. Ayaw ko tumawa ka na naman. Ano ka na signature love. Anyways. So anyways, and Adam, ano ka dito Adam? Hindi ka matagosok. Si Adam po, ang aming resident photographer. Alapag ako natin siya. And sempre, and sempre, meron akong bagong tuklas. Right? Meron akong bagong tuklas. He's very, very articulate, good voice, good, uh, nice personality. Without further ado, Ezekiel Seke Hilario. Are you ready to?
Candidate number 16 for Mrs. Canada, Filipinas Canada, Mrs. Faith Awa. We have it, ladies and gentlemen, our Mrs. Filipinas Canada candidate. Let's now move on to our Mr. Team candidates. First up, Marcelo Paul Cesar. Joaquin Sanchez, candidate number 18. Up next are Mr. Filipinas Canada. Candidate number 19, Paolo Bonifacio. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, our Mr. and Mrs. Team Filipinas Canada pageant candidates. Let's give them another round of applause, please. Thank you. Thank you very much, our, our dear candidates.
from LA. You know what LA means? That means Alberta. Okay, and my good friend, I don't know, I'm done business like a clinic, like a restaurant, my Airbnb, catering, you know, I'm Pero, it's a very good friend of mine, Mr. Alan Bryan. And last but not least, that's why I'm having family here. Yeah. Okay, okay. We established our friendship last year. It's already part of Filipinas Canada. Of course, the lovely lady, the chairman, the president, sabi na natin lahat na queen of AJA Group of Companies, Miss Abby. <laughs> Uh, we're waiting for Flores and Dawn. Yeah, we're waiting for Flores and Dawn and see who is ECC. I don't know what that is. Grabe yung Uber. I don't know. My Uber then. But then, yeah, and so before we proceed, I know you guys uh, just go through the folders. This is going to be with you through the rest of the evening. And uh, what's going to happen, again, I mentioned before, the mga judges na nandito ngayon who were not here before. So after the, 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 the pageant, we will be whisked by a limousine to the hotel. Okay? So from Bella Concert Hall, the tailor for the performing arts, you will be transported to the Holiday Inn. We prepared some small feast for you, of course, catered by Mr. Alan. The reason why I mentioned this name because I'm now making a disclaimer. Pag hindi masarap, don't blame me. Diba? Pag hindi masarap, now I'm just kidding. Kaya nga, nalig, tinasarap eh. And of course, I also would like to acknowledge Miss Leslie for a short notice. She was able to provide us with the venue and the hotel as well. Thank you, Leslie. Thank you, Leslie. She is now the pageant director. Lahat na. Pag may ano, Radiance. Kaya na kamay. Kaya na kaliwa, pati dito. So, you know, gusto ko lang kasi acknowledge siya. Kasi... Nandun siya. Kahit medyo ayaw ko na. I message you personally sa ako yung kausap niyo. This is great then, right? And then we have Malcolm here. Malcolm. I'm having my geographer. Mr. Malcolm. Yan pang Mr. Pilipinas. Kaya lang retired. And Adam too. Ba talaga dito ka? Saan po ang charge ang aming mga gandang pictures? Later on, lalo kayang gaya ng Mr. Adam too. Ba? for the photography. So now I'm really blessed because I made team. And ako ang ginagawa ko na utos dun. Joke. Now what I'm trying to say is like they are doing on their own. May in charge of music. And yeah. Okay. So hindi na siya mga ka. Okay. Copy that. I started with the magic group. And I'm so really, really happy again. This year, hindi na lang siya host, the script writer. She's doing it on her own time, 2.30 a.m. Nakikita ko yung mga ting, 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 ting. So, with Vida around, medyo na, na, nabawasan ako. Masaya si Tifa. Yeah, so this is Vida, Valerie Bispo. And siyempre, kailangan natin mga partners para hindi naman siya napapagod. Meron akong bagong tuklas. Pero ito, more ano sa pang sports, pero ngayon gagawin ko ng project. Mr. Ezekiel Hilario. I think I'm going to be sick or sick. I thought I'm spelling Z-E-K. Sick. English teacher. Napakala nga nila anak ko. Kasi ang apelido namin almost the same. Nakulangan lang siya yung parents na medyo matipid. Kumukasan ng isang O. Miss Kyla is here. So for beauty queen. Kaya lang, sabi ko, you have to level up, right? Beauty queen, if you have a talent in hosting. Kasi yan talaga ang advocacy ko. Kasi ako pa-retire na, di ba? So what I'm trying to say is like, ano yun natin yung mga talents, di ba? And in doing that, ang gaganda, ang gaganda. Siyempre, dapat kagaya. And then, isa dyan na si Lou. Ano ka na rin yung Lou? Uy, Lou. Ang aking masipag na marketing director. Saan ka nakakita? Ilang araw na lang ang pageant, nagdagdag pa kami ng limang. Wow. Ito sa dyan si Ms. Joanna Pe. Thank you, Louie. Talagang hard worker din yan. 
kahit nababambo ko yan, nandito <laughs> ko ano, nandyan pa rin siya. Pero the good thing about them is, uh, they take it objectively. You know, na walang personal na we're here to put, uh, uh, and I'm actually a very good friend. Ayan, busy, busy, so, so, so. The sick friend is here. Uh, and ever since we've been a uh, brother Kunayan more than 10 years. And then, Mamaya, you will meet the people. Okay? So, not that. They're ready when they're ready. on your pages, yeah. but there's only 19. So unfortunately, Ace couldn't um, attend because of school. He had to fly out. And then, of course, one of the misses, Miss Faye Awan, she's unfortunately sick, so she cannot attend. And because of protocols, we have to follow that. So we have a total of 19 for you. So one of the misses, candidate number 16, Faye Awan, won't be here. And then I believe, um, Ace is originally candidate number 20. Ace Miss Perez. Oh, sorry. There's not 20. Though. There's not 20, but I have 21. Yes. So I think they erased it. Okay. Okay. Maybe. But as long as Ace Miss Perez is not there. All right. It should be for the Mr. Um, Paolo Bonifacio and Charles Anderson Rohel. It's going to be yeah. It's just Faye, I think, that we have to yeah. We had last minute change. So nice. All right, so we'll begin with candidate number one. Hi, I'm Joanna Flores. Um, I, I recently got on my school volleyball team. I also figure skate with Wild Rose Figure Skating Club. I also do basketball with Storm. Perfect. Um, does one of the judges want to ask something? I'll pick and choose at the end. Someone wants to raise your hand. Sure. Joanna, what made you join this pageant, love? It was to build my self confidence. Thank you. Anyone else? Maybe one more? I'll pick and choose again. Miss Jane did that. <laughs> so I noticed that you're into sports. Uh, I myself, I have three daughters that are into sports. And if you were to pick one sport, what would you pick? I pick volleyball. And why is that? It's because it. Candidate number two from East Dean, Jasmine Fontanilla. Hello everyone, I am Jasmine Fontanilla. This is my first pageant. I am 15 years old. My hobbies are to cook and I do karate and I like food. Perfect. Anyone want to ask? What's so special about you? Um, I guess. My self strength. People are mostly surprised how strong I am because of this guy. Anyone else? <coughs> okay, I will make uh, Tagalog because we are Filipino here. That are you Filipino? Ano may ambag mo bilang sa pageant nature? Bilang ikaw, ano may ambag mo sa community, sa Filipino community? Bilang sa pageant nature. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Uh, what? Yeah, oh, sorry, guys. Sorry. Okay. No, 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 very good. Uh, being you, uh, what do you uh, share to the Filipino community here in the uh, fashion or the pageant nature? Um, I love our cultural clothing. Okay. So I like to run, like, I like to walk in their clothing because it makes me feel like I'm truly Filipino. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Thank you, Jocelyn. Thank you, Jocelyn. Thank you. Good afternoon. I am Zaira Zen Ramo Bastida, 13 years of age, and my hobbies are playing volleyball, um, cooking, and I sometimes do tutoring with other kids. Thank you. Anyone want to ask? What is it? How do you overcome defeat? For me, as being a volleyball um, player, sometimes it's always, it's not just wins, it's not just what the for me, it's the journey. It's you remember how you became a team. You remember how you, how you became a um, sorry a leader in the show. And yeah. I have a question for her. Sorry. I have a question. Sorry. If you win. How can you advocate for Filipino teenagers in the community? Um, thank you for the question. I, my advocacy is about education, and as I said before, I love teaching kids, and I used to still, I, I used to do it in the Philippines without, when I was there. So I would love to make, um, I would love to make this charity where it's only, it's for free. It's for public. It's for all the kids that want. Um, learn and have knowledge like I have right now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Our, 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 our next candidate. Our next candidate is candidate number four, Ashley Manda. Good day, evening, everyone. My name is Ashley Manda, and I am 14 years old. I live in a small town in Kaipo with about 12,000. And my favorite hobbies are cooking, baking, and many sports like softball, volleyball, and football. Thank you. Hi, Ashley. Uh, what do you think is your biggest asset? My biggest asset? Is it your smile? Is it how you carry yourself? Confidence? My, I feel like it's my confidence. I like talking to many people, like not even knowing them. I just say hi and like I like talking to lots of people. So yeah, my confidence. One more question for Miss Patrick. Yeah. Hi, uh, what are the things that you have done to prepare for the future? I have prepared my my smile and my confidence and my thoughts. Like time management, like when your mom told you to 
study and doing your sports. So how do you cope from your coping mechanism when you feel that you are under pressure? I try to calm myself down and to do all the things that I have to do first so I have more time for my other priorities, such as sports and house chores. You have a, if you will give it a chance, what do you think? To be an actress or to be a model? I would say a model because it's very um, it gives more Sindon is here with us, so it's four. Wow. <laughs> Beautiful ladies. Actually, um, the question is the same. I heard a while ago why you joined. For me, um, yes, why you're here? Actually, influenced me to join this pageant. One is to fulfill a childhood dream. I have always wanted to become a model, but unfortunately, I'm not blessed with the height, as you can see. <laughs> um, however, when the opportunity presented itself, I actually took the courage to step forward. And now I can say that regardless of the outcome, I have been served that year and I was able to achieve that dream. And then the other two things would be networking. So my mom's business, I would like to assist her with that and then just widen my horizon. The second one is for my advocacy, which is really close to me. And that would be um, mental health awareness and suicide prevention. So I think that with this platform, I am able to reach a wider audience and then in, inspire them to take care of themselves first and like I always say pay attention observe and reach out and that can be applied to yourself so pay attention to the needs of your body and your mind and then if you see someone struggling I would also assist them and offer them services that I think may be helpful great wow thank you Choose Miss Helen Georgia. <laughs> Good afternoon. Did I know how much time do you prepare for this competition? Um, I would say you would practice like six, five hours, um, three days a week. Yeah. Good afternoon. And another question? Yeah, you are. How do you handle? How do you handle setbacks and failures in life? Yeah. Um, I would say to just never give up and keep to um, continue to do what you love and never listen to other people. You know, um, because at the end of the day, it's for yourself and what makes you happy and do what you love. Gadi U Alave, and I am a performer. I love to sing and I love to dance the Filipino tradition, Filipino traditional dances. And I also like to be able to volunteer a lot as much as I can. Thank you. I'd like to call on Joan 
say more if you have any questions. How can you handle stress? The way I handle stress is to sleep. <laughs> I sleep and I, I also spend time with my family, with traveling. to manage. Uh, in reality, we cannot really manage our time since everything is uncontrollable. Therefore, what I do is I tend to be more um, able to do the things that I can do when I'm with people because they motivate me to do as much as I can in life. That's Good afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is Shekaina Natameo. I'm 22 years old. I live in Hinton, Alberta, which is six hours away from here. Ooh, wow, <laughs> yeah. dedication. <laughs> um, I work as a shift manager in Starbucks five days a week. So <laughs> our practices that we have on weekends, we, we really try to come here as much as we can, despite like challenges, car breaking down, <laughs> my dad having to go to the hospital, but it all works out. Any questions for my children? Sorry, this question. How you present yourself to the teenagers in a society where right now you have drugs, you have depression, how are you handling this and help this a person, a uh, teenager like you, how you can give it, um, present yourself to them? Um, I am a Christian, and mm -hmm. so we try our best to stay clean. And honestly, being a person or human being, it's normal to make mistakes, but having a great support around us helps us to be a better person. And sometimes we just need to find that people. I have a how you can show to the community the support about this um, what we're going at our teenagers right now, right? And there is lots of things. So how you can encourage and um, show yourself to be a role model and you know. You have to make a choice between career and pageant. What is your choice? For me, my priority right now is with school. Pageantry is just on the side for me, but being here is very important for me and my family because my mom has been in pageantry as well, and she is also a nurse. <laughs> so I'm living her legacy. <laughs>
are 17, 8, 4, and 2 years old. I love swimming, diving, and running. I am also loving supporting the Filipino community as well as the women in power. Questions from the judges? Do you have any platform? And why is it important to you? Yeah, uh, the reason why I joined this project because of my platform. I want to spread the awareness for each of everyone to stand up. And even if you don't have a crown, you can see your crown in your head. And even if you don't have a cape, you are hero because you are here standing for all of this.
with that, each day I take it like one each at a time. And then I always hope that um, better things to come every day. Then I keep my faith and then I will just be happy my family and sister and I take it so And also my son, my eight year old son, he, this morning he showed me like a paper. He drew a flower on it and he said, Mom, although it's not yet uh, Thanksgiving Day, but I'm just gonna give it since you're gonna go to a pageant. I'm just gonna wish you good luck. He said that, and also my four-year-old, he just had me. So this just made my day. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, judges. My name is Julie Jacob Lesa Navarro. I'm in my golden years, <laughs> obviously. And I am a mother of two beautiful college students. Wow. Any questions for my judges? Uh, since it's uh, almost Thanksgiving, I'm thankful for my life and the life of my family, of course, and all the blessings that we achieved this year and the other year, because during pandemic, it's a very hard life, but we are standing still with all the good health. So that is the most important thing, our lives, our family and our friends around us. As golden, you know, years of age, how do you define to live life with a purpose? Ever since I'm living my life with a purpose, I am a big winner. And in my younger years, going to my after college and in my married life, until now, I am the best winner. So this life is a, have a purpose that I have to take care of my husband, my family, my children, with all my my achievements in life and my job that I'm taking this care right now to flourish this one because I know I have all responsibilities down there.
growing up and maturing, and everything just kind of got away. <laughs> by winning this pageant, I can have that advantage of gaining my confidence again. That's all. Thank you. Question. question. What's your focus in your life right now? I mean, after this. I'm, I'm trying to focus on my school again. Since after the quarantine, I actually in the quarantine, I didn't have much time to take care of my school because I've been taking care of my siblings since my mother and father had to work each. How many siblings you have? I'm sorry? How many siblings you have? I have two siblings, one seven years old and a four years old. Okay. Good afternoon. My name is Rajin Sanchez. I'm 17 years old. I'm a student here at MRU. And some of the hobbies I have are basketball and other sports like volleyball and soccer. Now, the person I look up to the most is probably my dad, because he's just like a really hard worker. He's always there to provide for me and my family. Hi, um, being as young as you are, um, I do have a uh, experience of bullying, um, like in school or just in the workplace, and how did you deal with it? And you know, um, not. So as a student, I have definitely seen some people getting bullied before, but as like for me, I haven't done anything to really like step out there and like say anything about it. But I feel like we should all start kind of like paying more attention to it and just putting ourselves out there to stop it in the future. Awesome, thank you, Wookie. Hey. How old are you now? Uh, 30, 24, and 25. 24, 25. In five years, who you are? I think I'm going to be a successful sommelier for the wine because I really am really studying about wine and I want to become a sommelier one day. Okay. Yep. So. Okay, I will look after that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Being you, uh, being you be an influencer, how do you influence the, the children or the, the people in the commun Filipino community being a great Filipino here in Canada? Okay, being you an uh, influencer, okay. how do you influence the children of many people, uh, Filipino community here in uh, Canada? Oh, um, basically, basically um, uh, I don't actually uh, influence um, a lot of stuff. I only influence by uh, by by doing what I what what I uh, what I officially like uh, what I do. Like for example, um, I do have a talent, and then I do have uh, I do have music, uh, other composing music. So if there's a, a person like who wants to uh, build up their uh, build up their life with a with, uh, passion of, about music, about like this one, uh, I, I teach them how to do it. Like, um, I give them uh, uh, inspiration, I give them uh, a lot of, um, a lot of uh, stops that, that they can help their life improve. That's it. Okay, thank you. Well, that's the panel interview, so we'll have everyone to start, well, not the judges, the candidates to stand up. And then we'll start with Joanna to walk out. So we have the Miss Keen.